Alright, so if you know me, you know I like to clown dumb dudes that rap a gang. Like, if you're gang banging in 2020, you look and tell a stupid G. I'm about to unveil to you a clip, and with this clip, you will see the real reason why Bow Wow is forever gonna be on Love and Hip Hop. I got it. Man, that's what I'm saying. That's why you don't listen. Bow! I don't stop. Y'all don't get the cameras out. Jesus. Bow! Yup! Yup! Oh, what the f? Hey! Keep telling y'all, but man, stop f***ing with me. What happened? What the f? Keep happened? with me. What happened? Keep telling y'all, get your mother f f ass over here. What happened? Keep putting your f up on pile room. What happened? I, with the I just came out like, huh? What? Turn the f cameras off, and I'm like, Bow, talk to me. Tell me what's going on so I can try to help. Don't be pushing. What the f happened? When he started swinging and pushing away at me. I was like, we gonna have to slow this thing down because I just got off probation, okay? And I ain't trying to go back the day I'm off probation. What happened? Because these dumb ass don't respect my life. What they, they me. What they do? What the I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Kevin, what happened? I'm tired of this. Whack ass producers. I'm tired of all this. Y'all keep Bow, 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 bow. Now, I'm not an Ebonics expert, you know. I'm not very well versed in my black celebrities because, let's face it, we all have better shit to do. But I think that's the international sensation Bow Wow, the acting genius and lyrical mastermind behind the timeless classics like Let Me Hold You, Bounce With Me, That's My Name, and arguably the greatest song of the century, Basketball, you know what I'm saying? You know that song, we're playing basketball, you know we love that basket. Ball, you know, Bow Wow was is the genius behind that slapping track, you know, <laughs> and he's the he's also the main star and the genius actor in Like Mike, you know those movies. I'm sure you've heard a bunch of his new projects that are coming out. They're just charting the charts, you know, breaking world records and shit, smashing everything. This is a true A-list celebrity. Scratch that. This is an S-tier celebrity, right? He makes Drake look like an unknown, you know. <laughs> Let's be real though, I've never had respect for Bow Wow. Whenever someone mentions the greatest rappers ever, the last person that I would even dare to think of would be Bow Wow, you know? Obviously the first person I would think of would be Nick Cannon with his fire-ass bars, you know what I'm saying? Calling Eminem El Elvis fucking pussy. that's what he called him. <laughs> the fuck, bro, niggas are trash. But yeah, never really gave a shit about Bow Wow. He's irrelevant, and let's face it, he's never finna rise up to stardom. He peaked when he was a toddler, and now he's a grown man acting like a toddler, hoping that he'll get some sort of attention. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this guy. And to get that attention, he's acting pretty ignorant, so he's literally making all black people look bad. Good shit, Bow Wow. Thank you. I've been around some ignorant niggas for a minute, so I know how a nigga who can't fight but wants to seem hard acts like. And this is literally textbook behavior, bro. Bow Wow is a textbook bitch, bro. <laughs> Gotta love watching weak niggas front like they're hard. Like, didn't you used to, like, wear your pants backwards or some shit, my nigga? The last nigga I'd be scared of is someone who calls himself Bow Wow. Like, that's the farthest thing from, like, being scary i ever seen. I don't think anyone's been watching this man-child act up and was, like, the least bit intimidated. All I saw and felt was pity for this washed-out bum. I don't even know what happened here. This woman is trying to find out what happened so she can give this man-baby the help that he needs. And this shows how mentally mature this guy really is. He's like, oh, you know, he's trying to act like he's fucking hard and shit. You know, trying to act like he fucking pushes weight. You know, oh, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Like, bro, like, shut the fuck up, bro. He sounds like some middle school kid who doesn't know how to fight. So he's asking his friends to, like, hold him back. You know what I'm saying? And the funnier thing is that this dumbass kid says on Pyru, I bet you on my fucking life. No one in Pyru is, like, fucking standing behind Bow Wow saying, Oh, yeah, Bow Wow. Yo, you don't want to mess with Bow Wow, bro. Bow Wow goes crazy, you know. Bow Wow, I saw Bow Wow, like, stab a nigga with a spoon, bro. Like, there's nobody going around saying that type of shit. <laughs> like, no one really thinks you're hard, Bow Wow. You weren't fucking like Mike. That's the biggest L you can ever get. Like, there's no coming back from that shit. <laughs>
<laughs> and the funniest part is that the camera then cuts to this clown having an outburst trying to break a camera. Like, let's be real. We all know this show is fake. Bow Wow was not strong enough to fucking break a camera. He was a fucking weak pussy bitch. But, like, the thing that bothers me is that no one really gives a fuck where Gregory has been or where, Gre- or where fucking Gregory is fucking going. Gregory rides economy just like all of us. This dude is a fucking pleb, plain and simple. He's an F-list celebrity at best. When you go to a party, no one goes, hey, yo, put on that new Bow Wow track. That shit is fucking live. You know what I'm saying? Legit, no one says that shit. Find me a nigga that thinks Bow Wow is peaking in 2020 and I'll actually give him a million dollars. This guy's acting skills are so weak, he can't even act tight properly. Like, take him to an actual hood or a fucking white suburb, and I bet you he'd be the bottom bitch in the fucking class, bro. He'd be made their bottom bitch. What's even funnier is that I think his emotional outburst is that he's being followed by cameras, which is kind of stupid because that's the point of the show. You're supposed to be fucking followed by cameras. But like, let's even face it, like, let's be much more realistic here. Jake Paul probably gets more paparazzi than this guy. I doubt TMZ is hunting you down, trying to chase, like, the newest fucking scoop on your life. Like, you faked your house on MTV Cribs, my guy. You are fucking broke. You're not fucking peaking. Stop. No one cares about what you're doing. Just fade into obscurity and stop acting like you're still at your peak. You're a joke. Okay, Gregory? You're a joke. No one cares what you're doing. Stop acting like everyone's, like, chasing you down, trying to find out what you're doing. No one gives a fuck. Moral of the story, listen to J. Cole or some shit. Don't end up being a washed out has been named Gregory Moss, aka Bow Wow. It's been your boy Ronan. That's it. See ya.